Mr Preston here with another video on how to use the to investigate software from Purple Mash. So last week's video looked at how we use these two buttons here to create and design our database, so input our fields, and then we also began to look at adding records. So as you can see I've loaded up a database that's already been completed for me and it's on various countries of the world. Now the main purpose of a database is to be able to store data, so store that information search data so find things we want and select data so pull out information we need and we can do that by using these five buttons at the top here at the minute my database is kind of all higgledy piggledy it's all jumbled up so the first button I'm going to go to is this one here I'm just going to go to that middle button there and arrange and I just want everything looking nice and organized so I'll press the tile button and straight away it's just putting all those records into any random order but at least I can see everything now instead of all being over the top of each other they're all organized and neat so another button which is pretty useful is the table button because at the minute I've just got pictures of different flags of different countries and the name of the country whereas if I press the table button that actually takes me through to all of my records, so 34 in total, with all of the fields at the top. And from there, look, I can see all the fields, all the information related to capital cities of all 34 countries, the population, coastline, area. So this way, the table view of records is a good way to get a quick snapshot of all the information we have collected, all that data. So sometimes though we may not just want to have all the data there we may want to filter out certain bits find certain things and we do that by using the find button here and the first tab it's a drop down menu and you'll recognize these as all the different fields so we've got name continent capital city population and so on so for example I know that I'm looking for a country and I know the capital city is Beijing so if I select capital city we can find that country now and we can either say it is that country so if I'm confident with the spelling I can type it in Oops. and then the capital city is Beijing so when I press OK that will search through all these records here and just show me the capital city which is Beijing I may want to exclude it so capital city is not Beijing so that would highlights everything else apart from Beijing. Starts with is helpful if I'm not sure of the spelling so I know Beijing it's a B and an E so if I press OK on that it will just filter through all the capital cities which start with a B and an E so I'll go with that and you can see look it's filtering it through and I've ended up with four different countries there so what I can then do is I can just click through all these records here to find out. So Serbia is Belgrade, I know Switzerland is Bern, Germany is Berlin, so China must be Beijing and I can double click and I can see. So I have found the piece of information I need. I've searched the database and I've now selected that information I need. So find so for some of the options we may have the is option especially when we're including letters but some of the answers population they're related to number so I can limit my search by different types of numbers so here I've got equals I've got less than greater than and so forth so this time I want to find all the countries greater than 60 million and I've picked that because I know the UK is around 60 million there's around 60 million people living in the UK so this will find all the countries with a population bigger than 60 million and I can speed this up drag there and as you can see it's found all the countries with a population greater than 60 million so China for example 1.3 billion and Washington so USA 321 million Brazil 204 million and so on and what it's done it's sorted it in numerical order so number order and it's sort of sorted it from the smallest so that population closer to 60 million all the way through to the biggest population so the UK look 64 million or so there so that is how we can use the find button 
I may want to actually sort out all my data so instead of looking for specific things using the find I can sort out the information I have. This can be as simple as sorting into alphabetical order or the capital city name or the population. So if I had a question about which country has the biggest area if I sort it by area and then press up as you can see because it's starting up it started with the smallest area first going all the way through to the biggest area so I can see that Russia has the biggest the largest area out of all these countries whereas Slovenia only has an area of 20,000 square kilometers or so and Russia is 17 million and then the arrange button we've already covered that just tidies up all the tiles so it's easier to see and manage so the last two buttons here are how I can use statistics and graphs to show my information to show my data so going on to the statistics if I bring that up now again I've got all my different fields here so I'm going to click on continent and the continent is going to count what categories those continents fall into so if I press the equals button I can see South America has five, Oceania has two and so on. So it's use the information what we've put in the continents to pull that information out. If I clear that, I could have population. And if I do count though, because all the populations for all 32 countries are different, it's brought back 32 different things. So it may be useful sometimes to find something more specific. So the maximum population, the biggest population then, is that country which we know is China and I could have the minimum population and again there look minimum population if you just clear it each time it just makes it easier to see the coastline so which country has one which country doesn't so 31 countries do and three don't so some answers such as the yes and no they're where we had the show answer option for the field so it was very limited with our responses whereas population because that was an open answer we had 32 34 sorry different responses and the last button is the charts button so data can be used to create charts now this initial chart here isn't very good because we've got one country called Algeria one called Argentina and so on and it's grouped them all in ones apart from at the very end when it's Put the rest of them together whereas if I go to continent this will be a lot more helpful because on my bar chart I can see that six are in Africa four are in Asia one is Eurasia 13 is Europe and so forth and I can convert that to a pie chart so 38% of all the countries on our database are in Europe and I can have it the other way as well so some data remember will be better suited for charts population won't because I've got 34 different pieces of information here so it can't possibly fit all that on there and they would all just have a value of one anyway and coastline again because I could select yes or no as my answer that is a lot easier to see using the chart so three countries haven't and 31 have so that's a very quick overview of how too simple to investigate can be used to show data in a table, how we can use it to find certain pieces of information, how we can sort, oh I forgot to mention group, so group you can group it again according to different types of information so continent, I've grouped it according to that so which continents all these countries are in so we've got sort group and arrange, we've got statistics and we've got charts